<laughs> and we're with me in studio today. We have a queen and royalty and someone who is an ambassador for this country as well. So yes, in case you missed any of the valuable insight here, we've had Ikran Omar coming through. We've had Teresa Njunge. And now for the final one of the day, I have one Scarlett Were. Who is Scarlett? Well, she is Miss Universe Kenya. She represented us and she was among the top six finalists on Miss Universe World Worldwide. Cindy, yes. Hey, can you imagine? <laughs> I'm so surprised. <laughs> I'm so glad to have you in studio. Thank you. Very yes, much. please, if you do want to participate in the conversation, you can find us on Instagram at y254 underscore channel. On Twitter, you can find us at y254 channel. The hashtag is why in the morning. Hashtag social Fridays. Hashtag models edition. And on, where else have I forgotten? YouTube at y254 channel. So Scarlett, we're rare. We will allow the queen to say good morning to you. Good morning. How are you doing? Mm -hmm. It's nice to have you in studio. Very so nice to be here. Thank, thank you, you for inviting me. I'm the one who's honored. DJ Khalifa, would you like to say hello to the Queen? Why not? Thank you so much. I'm sorry. Tema. I'm going to TV. Okay. All right, Scarlett, so I think we, we're going to get to know you just a little bit, just of a little course. bit of background. <laughs> what were you like in high school? You know, those kind of things. Can you tell us about your history? Well, I'm quite reserved in nature, mm -hmm. quite shy, quite polite. Those mm -hmm. are the words that resound in my, that how people know me as. Mm -hmm. So it came as a shock and a nice surprise mm -hmm. for some of my former high school mates eh. seeing me there. <laughs> <laughs> so they thought maybe I got schooled in modeling, which mm -hmm. I did in mm -hmm. retrospect. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Wait, you I got am. schooled <laughs> in modeling? Where? No, actually, mm -hmm. it was way after high school. Mm -hmm. Just that period between after high school and before joining campus, mm -hmm. I used to just randomly walk in town, mm -hmm. maybe going to school for mm -hmm. computer classes or mm -hmm. French classes. Mm -hmm. And once in a while, complete strangers would walk up to me and ask me about modeling. So yes, you look it. <laughs> that's true. Mm -hmm. So I figured it's the height because I was quite plump after high school. Mm -hmm. So I knew. <laughs> <laughs> you were once plump. <laughs> hey, you guys, tell me a challenge you come through. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I sort of found myself wanting to know more about modeling. Mm -hmm. So I met this gentleman mm -hmm. once and he took me to his modeling agency. Mm -hmm. I went there with my mom mm -hmm. and he prepared us about his agency and about his photo shoot and sort of opened the way for me in modeling. So that's how I began. I see. So yeah. someone actually did introduce you to it and then you pursued it and yes. uh, completely. So can you tell us about your most satisfying moment aside from winning Miss Universe Kenya? What has been your most satisfying moment throughout your career? In modeling? Yes. So it's probably finally getting a yes because mm -hmm. in modeling you realize it's a lot of judgment yeah <laughs> in terms of beauty in terms of intellect in terms of poise th like there's so much that goes into it mm -hmm. and i used to be a high fashion model mm -hmm. for about three years before pursuing uh, beauty pageants mm -hmm. so my high was probably finally getting my yes because before that you know people see a butterfly oh. when it's flying but no one sees the process it took to get there mm. so my story is that i got so many no's I wanted to give up and I actually promised myself that I would never go back to beauty pageants. I would stick to high fashion runway modeling because there's not so much that's required of me mm -hmm. there because uh, beauty pageants, the, the extreme opposite is that it's not just you looking nice mm. in gowns and dresses and makeup, mm. but it's you presenting yourself as a character and as a person and them learning about you, mm -hmm. literally you exposing yourself to the world mm -hmm. and uh, hoping that you'd make it, you see. Mm -hmm. So my high was probably finally getting a yes and one that was quite worth it. Mm -hmm. So I will go back to that again. I know you asked me aside from that, but mm -hmm. that's my high, to that's be your honest. High. Yes. It's okay, man. Like <laughs> I do I do understand all the requirements. I once yes. modeled and I was like, hey, oh, you dental did. formula. Yes, oh, I did. I'm, yeah. I've been boasting about it the whole morning. <laughs> I used to be Miss Daystar University. I'm sorry. Oh, I, I schooled at Daystar as well. <laughs> oh my God, yeah. I'm your miss. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anyway, anyway, that was a long time ago. <laughs> that was a long time ago, but anyway, I tried to do Miss University and I saw all those.